Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our day number 22. For the first 20 days, we learned how to evaluate algebraic expressions. And starting from yesterday, from day number 21, we are going to we are learning how to add and subtract like terms. Like terms. What do they mean in the algebra book when they talk about like terms and unlike terms? Well, actually, that gives it away, doesn't it? Like terms, as in like term, as in similar terms. Unlike terms, as in dissimilar terms. Here's the example. Here's the problem. Negative three x. Negative four x. Negative five x and 10x and since 10x 10x has no sign in front of it it is positive positive 10x the question is how many x's do we have how many x's do we have well we have negative 3 negative 3 and negative 4 is negative 7 negative 3 and negative 4 is negative 7 then we have negative 5 if we add negative 5 to negative 7 that's how we speak in algebra. We talk about adding negative 7 and negative 5. See, well, that's what we're doing here. Negative 7 plus a negative 5. That's how it's written in algebra. Negative 7 plus a negative 5 will give us negative 12. And then finally, we have positive 10. So it gives us negative 10 for the grand total. So the answer here is, if you were to add them, which is what we are told, oh, I haven't told you what to do here. We, are, we, are, we, have, to, we have to find the sum. We're supposed to find the sum of these four terms. These are full terms. And we're supposed to find the sum of these four terms. And it turns out that the sum is negative 2. So negative 3x plus a negative 4x plus a negative 5x plus 10x equals negative 2x. Follow. Now, if it makes it easier for you to see, if it makes it easier for you to see, you can actually substitute numbers in it and, and be able to see even better. I, I might do that. Okay. We don't need any of this, do we? Of course not. I do not know why I asked a question and turned my head. It was a silly thing to do. All right. For example, for example, if, if x happens to be, for example, if x happens to be, let's say 7, then what we have here is negative 3 times 7 plus a negative 4 times 7. So this is how it would look like, plus a negative 5 times 7 plus 10 times 7. Well, in that case, the question is, how many 7s do we have? That's all it is. Adding like curve simply tells, uh, simply means, you tell tell me, how many 7s do we have? Here we have negative 3 7s, here we have negative 4 7s, here we have negative 5 7s, and here we have 10 7s. The logic is same as before, exact same logic as before. If you want to start from this end now, as opposed to that end, you can start from here. We have 10 minus the 5, that gives us 5, minus the 4, that is going to give us 1, and then minus the 3, plus 1, and the minus 3 gives us negative 2, voila. So, so the sum of the whole thing is, sum of the whole thing is, negative 2 times 7. And do it out if you like, you will see that the answer is going to be negative 14. If x is 7, then the value of this expression is going to be negative 14, negative 2 times 7. Let's do the next one. So this is called adding like terms. Let's do one more, we are done with this particular one. What happens? What happens if we had a question something like this? What if what if we had a question that looked like this? Negative 3x, negative 4x, negative 5x, and 10x. Find the sum. Find the sum of 
these four terms. Do you notice something? Of course, the same as before, isn't it? So here is what we can do. What happens if two of the terms were disliked? See here, they are all like terms. They are all like terms because they all contain x and nothing else. They are all like terms. So all we have to do is add up their coefficient. These are called coefficient. But what if uh, this x happen, happens to instead of x if this were y? And what if this x instead of x instead of x happens to be y? Now do we, how do we add them? Well, now we have to talk about adding the like terms. Here we have this. This is a like terms. This this involves x, and this involves x, and these two are like terms. This is a like term, and this is a like term because they all involve y's. So how many y's do we have? We have a negative 4 and a negative 5. So we have negative 9y. How many x's do we have? We have a negative 3 and a positive 10. A negative 3 and a positive 10. I need to erase this thing. I need to fix it before my algebra teacher from years ago happens to see it. This 3 is not lined up properly. The 3 has to go in a unit digit. And it gives us positive 7. So there we go. And since it's a positive 7, we don't have to write positive. That's it. Everybody understands that if there, is no, if there is no sign in front of it, then it's a positive 5. Had it been a negative 5, we would have put negative in front of it. So that's it. That's the answer. That's the answer. If we had negative 3x, negative 4y, negative 5y, and positive 10, 10x, the sum of these four terms would be this. That's all. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Again, the same same idea. Find the sum of. Find the sum of, and now we have. Negative three y squared. Four y squared. Seven y squared. And negative ten y squared. Again, they all happen to be like terms. They all happen to be similar terms. Like terms. They all happen to be similar. Why are they similar? Because they all contain y squared and nothing else. This is a y squared. 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 Since they are all like terms, all we have to do is add the coefficient. Just add the coefficient. Since they are all like terms, similar terms, all we have to do is just add the coefficient. I could not write coefficient in the capital letters because had I slowed down to write the capital letters I wouldn't know how to spell it. Just add the coefficient. So here we have negative 3. Let's put it in a different color. Here we have negative 3, coefficient of negative 3. Positive 4. Negative 3 and positive 4 is positive 1. And then 7. So that gives us positive 8. And then a negative 10. That gives us altogether a negative 2 negative 3 plus of positive 4 is positive 1, positive 1 plus 7 is positive 8, positive 8 and a negative 10, positive 8 and a negative 10 will give us negative 2. So the answer is the sum of these sum of these four terms the sum of these four terms it has, it has a negative, let's put a parenthesis around it so we don't lose track of this negative. This is negative but it's in the front so it's okay. So some of these four terms happens to be negative 2, negative 2 y squared. That's it. Negative 2 y squared. That's the answer. That was the end for the lesson for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 23 and we're just going to keep on chugging along. This is how we learn algebra, little by little, a few minutes every day. And you will see that uh, by the time we are finished taking the whole course, 
you will have no you will have known a lot more algebra than what you started out with in the day one and make sure that you do watch these videos in the proper sequence from day one don't do not skip around do not do not be lazy don't jump around watch them in sequence i will see you tomorrow on day number 23 in the meantime if you wish to get hold of me just send me an email you can find my email address at any of these website addresses that you see there just go to any of these website addresses and you can send me an email from there or you can go to simply kashwaniprep.com and send me an email from there it will take you to the same place Thank you.